Hi, I'm Anastasia and in this video I'll show you click by click how you can create static pins, video pins and idea pins in Canva. Canva is a free graphic design tool that works right inside your browser. It's an easy drag and drop editor that helps you create great pins for Pinterest, even if you're not a graphic designer. You can use templates, you can start your pin design from scratch, and I'll show you both methods today. In addition to this, even on the free Canva account, you will have access to a large collection of stock photos and videos, which you can use in your pins. So if you don't have your own images or videos, you can use stock ones, and these are all in one tool. You don't need to download them from a third-party site and then upload them here in Canva. Just do a quick search inside Canva and you will find plenty of options. You can start a forever free account using my link anastasiablogger.com slash canva. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to create static image pins using Canva templates. That's the easiest way you can go about, especially if you don't have any graphic design experience. So what you need to do when you open Canva, you can start typing Pinterest and it will pop up here this option of Pinterest pins. And actually, it shows you suggested templates 10,798 right now. It shows, it gives you a preview of some of them. We can click see all and you'll see lots of templates. And now your task is here to actually filter through these results and pick the templates that first work the best for your niche, for your maybe brand colors if you have some. And second, you need to keep in mind that not all these templates are done specifically for the, you know, for the best user experience or for the best uh, click throughs from your pins. So you need to still do some picking and testing some of these templates. But um, the things that you really need to pay attention to is how large the fonts are. You need to pick the templates that have bold and very big text. Uh, you need to also pay attention to the color scheme. You don't want pins that are too dark. Well, maybe for some topics like this Halloween pin, it makes sense to have darker scheme. But usually this, uh, the pins that have lighter background and bright colors on the pin, they win on Pinterest, they get more saves and clicks. So that's another thing you need to pay attention to. You don't want pins that are dark or like on this pin, it's not only dark, but it also has the light font, means that uh, the, the letters are very thin, so it's hard to read them. Even the big ones, they are still very thin. So on the mobile device, it can be hard to read them. Not even to mention the smaller ones, uh, they will be even harder to, to read them. Imagine this on a mobile device all the time when you're editing anything in Canva. So um, your task will be here when you look at these pin designs is to filter through results and don't use every and any uh, template available to you, but choose from them. And also another thing that you, you might want to pay attention to is that some of these templates, uh, they will put the text overlay in the bottom part of the pin. You want to avoid those uh, templates as well. So things like this one, for example, you see here you have the image in the top part and the text at the bottom. We want to avoid this because uh, when users are scrolling through Pinterest, they go, they look at the images from the top part and then they scroll and look down. So. Um, the most important part, something that attracts uh, the user's attention and that explains why they need to um, to pay attention to this pin is uh, in the top part of the pin and we want the text overlay to be there. So again, with uh, that many templates, I don't know if you really need to create any pins from scratch, but if you like this idea of creating some pin templates that are designed specifically for your brand or you want to generate something original from scratch, then on the next step I'll show you how you can do it from scratch on, on Canva. I will start by clicking on the create a design button on the top right corner of the page. Click on custom size here and type 1000 pixels in width by 1500 pixels height. Click create design. And the first thing we will do is create a nice background image for our pin design. I will click on photos and then in this search box, I will type blogger. Okay. This one looks nice. I'll click on it to add it to my canvas. Let's rotate the image first by simply dragging this icon on the bottom of the image. Great. It's rotated 90 degrees. 
Now we need to fill the whole canvas space with the image. And to do that, just drag one of these handles on the corners. We need a background for our text to be legible, or else it gets lost with the image and we cannot pass a clear message. I will click on Elements on the left side and on the Lines and Shapes, click See All. Click on the first square shape. Now, instead of dragging the shape from the corners, we can use these horizontal and vertical handles to drag and resize the image. But if I just drag one, you can see it's not symmetrical. To fix this, just hold Alt key on your keyboard and uh, together with your mouse left click, drag again the, sh the shape and now it's symmetrical. I'll do the same vertically. I like the size of the shape, but I want to move it up. You can just click and drag from the middle of the shape. And when you do so, you will see these lines showing up. These are guidelines to help you center the shape. Now that the shape is in its place, let's change the color. On the top bar, you will see an icon with the shape color. Just click on it and select the white color. Nice, it's looking really pretty, isn't it? Now we need some text for our design. Again, on the left bar, we can see an icon that says text. Let's click on it. You can see they already have hundreds of options to choose from, but we will create our own style. So let's simply click Add Heading. Double click the text shape to be able to edit the text. Now let's type how to promote. This will be our first sentence. On the top bar, you will select a different font. For this, I'm going to use one that's called Cooper Hewitt. I'll make it all caps by clicking on this icon with a double A and make the size 48. We can leave it black as for the color. Move it up a little bit by dragging the shape or if you prefer, you can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Never make the text close to the edges of the shape. Always leave some space for your design to breathe. To create our next text, we can simply click on any text shape we have on the design, then it will pop up these icons. We will click on the first one and it will duplicate the text. Now we need to create new settings for it. Change the text to affiliate links and make it red. Let's make the size around 96. But you see the text now goes out of the frame. We can fix this easily by dragging those icons on the sides while holding Alt. But now the text has too much vertical space between the words. We can click on this icon on the top bar with the two arrows and then on the line spacing property we can drag to the left until we have the desired result. Now duplicate the text again and change the text to on Pinterest. Let's adjust the handles again to fix the shape space and resize it to 64. It's looking great. We need another small call to action. In our case, it will be the word for free. So let's duplicate the text, move it down and write for free. Keeping it with the same text font and color doesn't stand out so much, right? Let's change that. For the font, I will choose the Leek Spartan, make it 50 in size and in black color. Still not much for, for the standout. We can click on the effects located on the top bar and then click on background. This yellow color looks great but I will reduce the roundness of the shape by dragging the slider to the left. Now it's perfect. See how we can read it well now? This is important when you have a page full of image pins. You want yours to stand out and catch the viewer's attention. I'll just duplicate one more time the top text and write two more sentences for everyone who wants to know a bit more before clicking. I'll remove the uppercase on these ones. And change the font to Arimo. Make it bold 
justify on the left and use the size of 36. The last thing we need to add is our signature. We can duplicate this for free text, move it down, and just type our signature. In my case, I'll use AnastasiaBlogger.com. I'll change the text to Arimo, make it bold, and the size will be used 18. And that's it for our first pin. Let's make a second version of the pin really quickly. On the top of the canvas, you will see this icon. Duplicate the page, just click on it. And now let's start by changing the background image. Head over to Photos and just drag and drop into the background the new image to automatically replace it. Now select the shape and let's add a border. So it's a little bit different than the first one. Just click on these lines uh, icons on the top bar, make the border weight uh, 6 and select the first line. I'm also replacing the text to a new one. On the last text, I will adjust the background shape size and change the background color from yellow to blue. Let's duplicate this page one more time to create the third pin. On this one, we will make more noticeable changes. First, let's change the background image. I'll remove the border from the shape and make it different and change its size. For the text, I will change its content and make the first one with the script font. I'll select the word Pinterest and make it bold and red. Then on the second text, I'll make the background shape red and the text white. And this is how quickly you can create three versions of the pin. Now let's talk about designing video pins in Canva. I can show you actually two different methods. One is to create very quick um, videos using the image pins that you already made in Canva. So let's say we took this template, for example, and what you need to do here to create out of this image, if you want to uh, make it a video, what you can do is use this animate option. And as soon as you add any kind of animation to your pin, it becomes a video of about five seconds long. So once you added this animation, Let's say I selected, say, this one. Uh, then when I clicked share, you just need to select instead of a... So it will, by default, it will offer uh, MB4 option, uh, which is uh, for the video, which you can upload to Pinterest. But uh, originally, I just want to remind you, originally it was an image, so it was supposed to be JPEG or a PNG file. But now that we added animation, you can download it as a video and upload it to Pinterest as a video pin. All right, so that was one way, like the lazy way, because you are uh, reusing, repurposing the images you just created um, and those templates that we had for images. Another way would be to create a mobile video using actually the format of mobile video. So you just need to go back to Canva for uh, dashboard and start typing mobile video and it will populate with this mobile video of this size, 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. And you will get lots of templates like this, which you can also edit and you can also actually take some of these templates and upload here your own videos if you want. So out of the template, you'll just um, use basically the animations that they have and the the types of uh, the styles of the text, but you obviously will need to change the text to your own text. But that's uh, that's it. So um, basically, if you click customize this template, you will get this template with multiple clips of uh, in this case, we just get three clips. Each one of them is about five seconds long. So um, I would say that for Pinterest video, it's enough to keep just one clip of five seconds or maybe just maximum two clips of, um, so it will make the, your video just 10 seconds. You don't want to make videos on Pinterest too long because that's not one of the, um, you know, in, uh, engagement scores that Pinterest algorithm um, qualifies your pins to rank for. Like I'd say maybe on YouTube, the more time users are rewatching your shorts, um, the better will be distribution of those videos. On Pinterest it doesn't work that way, so it doesn't matter 
if your videos are a little bit longer or shorter and what's what's the watch time your goal here with video pins is just to get people to click from them to your website because because they're linked to your website directly so you want to make them short and now let's talk about idea pins you can also basically create them in canva but how let me just remind you how idea pins look on pinterest when we click create idea pin you will see that you can upload here either videos or images and what i recommend you to do is first upload a short video something that we already created in canva a short video of about five or six seconds and then as the second one, you will upload a, an image, a pin that you created also in Canva. You cannot technically create a whole idea pin in Canva and then just upload it as a whole thing together. To Pinterest, you will still need to upload it slide by slide. So every slide is a different piece of content. And so that's what you're going to do. You will create them in Canva, the videos and the images for your idea pins and basically upload them here as separate files. Okay, and now that you know how to design your pins in Canva, what I want you to do is click on that video up there and learn what works in Pinterest algorithm right now. I'll see you there.